Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, well, Sidekick Saturday again, uh, number two. Um, and the prompt for today is memories. So, as I was preparing this, I was thinking, okay, what can we do with a prompt called memories? Um, the first things that came up into my mind were things like using uh, pictures or maybe some uh, song lyrics or do some journaling about something nice or maybe something not nice what happened. So that's the most obvious things which um, came up to my mind. But then I started to think a little bit longer. And if you change the word memories a little bit and make it, um, I'm not sure how you call it, a singular word like memory, then it might you might get a uh, completely different interpretation of the word. So uh, if you say memory, then you maybe can think of a memory stick or maybe your brains, your memory is not what it used to be. Or you can use words like remembrance or uh, maybe a souvenir uh, where you have a nice um, memory from or a keepsake, you know. So uh, please think about prompts a little bit different than only the word itself. So that's my little tip for today. Um, my plan today is, I was browsing through my stamps and see what I've got with the words saying something like uh, the things I just mentioned. Then I bumped into this one. It says stories and memories. <coughs> uh, and this one I also found um, the best thing about memories is making them or collect moments, not things. So, uh, And here is another one. I love those random memories that make me stop and just smile. So. There are a couple of ones I can use. Um, <coughs> then I've got the little uh, piece of paper left from the previous uh, Sidekick Saturday, but I think it's big enough to use it again. So my plan for today is use one of the pocket pages again. And I am thinking of one of the larger ones. This is a full size pocket page for the Sidekick Planner. So I'm thinking of using this one. I'm not only thinking I'm going to use it and then probably this is wide enough to go in there. Yes, it does. And then I am going to use um, the largest die from the Sidekick Filler set. Sidekick Fillers number one and the school is 2004. Just in case you're wondering what kind of set it is, what kind of set it is. So I need to cut it a little bit to size and then uh, run it through my die cutting machine. So that's what I'm going to do. Make sure it's a little bit straight on there. Still good. Yes, it's still good. <laughs> so you see, just uh, think about some of the words um, a little bit longer and then I'm sure uh, a nice idea comes up and if I think about it I will try to give you some tips um, every sidekick Saturday but <laughs> my memory is not that good so I might forget um, let me see let me see I've got this one I've got this one I don't need this one anymore so I'm going to put it aside for now Uh, so this is where I'm going to start with and then this one. I also do like this stamp um, It's quite large, but I think if I stamp it a couple of times and then cut it in half It can maybe be a very nice background um, On this sheet of paper now I can stamp it on uh, a blank canvas a blank piece of paper You know solid cardstock like a white or something off-white but I can also maybe take uh, some pattern cardstock. Why not? Why not? Let me see what's in here. Uh, I'm looking for the thinner paper now because uh, I'm going to add it on top of this. So I don't need uh, the thicker cardstock. Uh, let me see. Uh, I need something where I can put this stamp on. 
well, actually it can go on almost anything, but <laughs> no, I can use a little bit more color maybe, although this is quite neutral, this other. Or should I take one of the other albums? Hmm. This one is also pretty nice. Let me see. I think, oh, it's off screen, sorry. I'm going for this one. Just going to give it a try and see what it looks like when I stamp on it. No idea if it's going to work, but if it's a failure, you are my witness. So I do take um, a little foam thing to put underneath, or if you want to make <coughs> sure it sticks, or it stamps perfectly, take your stamping platform, if you have one. I, I think I will be uh, choosing the safe side and use the stamping platform. And I do like this red, so I want to use that too. Let me see what is a wise thing to do. Would that go in here? No. I need to trim a little bit of the edges, or one, one side. So it goes in here. Let me take this away. And then I think it's good and I can close it. Yes. Put some magnets on there. And then my stem. Um, yeah, I want some of the red to pop through. You see, there's a little opening in here in the stem and it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but it's just for fun. Okay, so this is going to be my stem, my first one. And I think I'm going to stamp it twice, so I can cut them in half. Let me see, sometimes one time is okay, but you never know. Oh, it's quite good. I'm going to give it a quick dot of extra ink yes then now this is always a little bit tricky i think but okay because there's still ink on my stamp and i know you can clean it in between the layers but <laughs> i'm lazy sometimes and you see <laughs> it still had quite some ink on it and hopefully i'm good with this one now yes Shall I give it a little bit extra? Okay, so here are my two stamps. Putting those back. Uh, let me see, put back the stamp first. <laughs> well, this is not an easy one to lose, but you never know. Uh, put it back in here. Oh, <laughs> it's the other way around, but I will take care of that later. Oh, now I do miss my, <laughs> this one. Um, well, these are quite easy to cut, so I'm going to cut them by hand. So you have to be a little, little bit patient, seeing me cutting two of those. And I have no idea, oh, I can give it a try and see if I can um, pause this record recording and continue in a couple of seconds. Let me give it a try. And I am not sure if this is working. <laughs> oh, no, it's still running. Okay, guys, that's not working. <laughs> I thought I had something figured out that I could pause my recording sessions, but no, it's not working. Probably something wrong with my settings. So I have to figure that out later. I'm going to cut this one too. Not sure if I need both of them 
um, completely not Okay, almost there. So now I've got two of those. And I think you can use, I mean, you can do this, which is quite <laughs> simple, but it looks nice. Oh, my fingers, there's still a lot of ink. Um, it does look nice on screen. So this might be a fun thing to do also, but that's not my plan for today. My plan for today is cutting them in half. So I need, I think, about three of them. So let's cut them in half. Now I can, because I do like this red pinkish color in the background here, um, I'm going to cut it somewhere here. So I'm not following this line, but I'm going to do something a little bit weird maybe. But that way I do have uh, the same color on both parts. You see what I mean? There's a little bit of pinkish on this one and on the other side. This one doesn't have any color, so that doesn't matter. Just cutting it in half. So I have three now. Uh, I do think I need to ink them. So there's Esther again with the frayed burlap ink. Just giving them a quick touch of ink. So this is going to be my background, or a part of the background. I'm not sure what else I'm going to add, <laughs> but let's see how this works out. So I do have three of those. Now, also something to um, think about, or when you are gluing them down, you can glue them all the way to the edge, you see, like this, or you can keep them a little bit away from the edge because this um, die has uh, this dashed border all the way around. And that does look pretty cool, but for this, I don't think I do like it. So I'm going to place them as close to the edge as possible. And maybe I am going to add this one a little bit more to the top. And maybe this one would be nice here. You see, that's also a possibility. Or you can maybe do this. And that's all up to you. You can add maybe another one here if you want to. Or maybe take another one and take a little part of a circle down here. Oh, that might be an idea. Let me think. Would that work? If I glue those two on top of each other. Now, I don't like this. They are too, um, yeah, on the same height. So that's something I don't like. So then this one has to go a little bit more above. And then maybe this one down here and cut it in half. I think I do like this. Okay, shall I glue this down? Yes. I already know this is going to be inside one of the pocket pages. So, I only need a little bit of glue and it won't go anywhere anymore. Just make sure it's nice to the edge. I didn't put glue all the way uh, to the edge of the circle itself because I might want to add something underneath there later. Uh, for those of you who have watched my um, December day by day journaling, journaling <laughs> uh, you know, probably already that I do that a lot, uh, adding things later. So if you are gluing it down all the way up to the edges, you can't do anything anymore. So um, yeah, if you like adding things later on, please don't glue anything down immediately. So I'm now changing these. Hmm, this border bothers me a little bit, <laughs> but okay, it's there. And then I can maybe do this one over here. So you see, you've got a little bit of red here and a little bit red down there. So it's more uh, balanced. At least that's why I, what I think. Um, if I trim this off, if I cut this off, that might also be possible. 
So you can see, you can glue it down any way you like. I think I'm going to cut this off here. Because there's, this is in the original paper, the background paper I used. And it's bothering me a little bit when I'm using it as a background now. So this one is going to be a little bit smaller. You can also uh, center them a little bit more together. So just play with uh, something like this until you like what you see. I do like this, but then this one is not... Mm, I can I also can connect the three of those, all, all three together. You see, now they are connected. If I move this one up more to the top, they are not connected, which I do like too. And then I connect this one. So this one is on its own. Do you think he minds, he or she? No, I don't think so. Okay, gluing down another one. Again, don't put glue all the way down to the edges. Just in case you want to add something later, which I don't know yet. And this one, same thing. I want this one to be there on its own. And this one can overlap the first one. So these three come together and this one, the poor thing, is down there on its own. <laughs> okay. But I do like, and that's the only reason I'm doing this, I do like it because the red is over here and the same red color comes back down there. Okay. Now let me cut this off. And to be honest, it's an even part of uh, an even amount. And that's something I really don't like. So maybe this little piece, which I cut off from here, I'm going to put back there. And now you see one, two, three, four, five. I know it's such a small piece, but it's just a detail which I do like. Don't think I'm going to glue anything underneath this one, so I'm going to glue that one down completely in the corner. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Now, I see I didn't ink the edges of the the full paper, so just doing that now. And guys, <laughs> I still have no idea where this is going to. <laughs> but that's the fun thing of playing around with the things you have. Your stamps, your papers, your uh, scraps of paper. Anything you like to use. Maybe you like to use ribbons or... Uh, you know, the little shiny things, the glittery stuff, <laughs> whatever you like, just use it. Okay, this is my base, but this still has still nothing to do with memories. So, just for my personal idea, I need to use a stamp. Stories and memories. Oh, this bothers me. Let me take this out. It needs to be on this side. <laughs> Okay, um, oh, I can also, recording moments. Well, uh, let me think, let me think. Turn back the time. Oh, that would be nice too. Turn back the time, you know. That's something to do, because if you want to turn back the time, you have memories about a certain time, which are good most of the time. So let me see if I've got those tiny circles where those stamps fit on, if I maybe still have a couple of them pre-cuts or something which they can, which I can use them them for. Not sure about this one. Yes. Hmm. Do you think that would be nice? Because I do already have a lot of circles over there, on here. Maybe one. Maybe one. Let me see if there's. Something. Oh, this is a nice one too. I d don't ask me from which it is. I don't know. I do like this to put on there as a decorative element. And I think I'm just going to use that one. So, this is my box with circles. 
So I put everything around in there. And if I need something, just look in there. So I'm going to use the stamp Turn Back the Time or Turn Back Time. Where is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And this one. And you see, I've been stamping them with red ink. But that doesn't make um, the stamp uh, any, um, how do you say? The stamp doesn't, doesn't get bad from that. It's still working, it's only a discoloration from uh, the ink I have been using. So now I want some black again. And trying to see, turn back time. Oh, it doesn't matter. It needs to be on there. Where is my little soft matty thing? Just to make sure. And now I'm putting it a little bit closer to myself so I can see where I'm stamping. So it needs to be a little bit in the middle. If you want to do this perfect, of course, use your uh, stamping platform if you have one. Oh, I do like that. Okay. I'm putting this one aside for a few seconds so it can dry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but now, this is just a background. I need something like a subject or a large quote or I can do a tag. A tag, a tag, a tag. Okay. Let me see. Here's my um, box with uh, things I have been using lately. Papers. Oh. Oh no, I didn't prepare this at all, guys, but this is really good. Um, these I made quite a long time ago already because they came with um, the die set um, with the craft name. I don't know. There was this um, dress doll, how do you call it, and these cards. And you know what's on there? This is the business my dad and my grandfather used to have. Uh, in the city I was born, and these pictures date from 1954. So I n I didn't think of those when I started this video. So I need to use it. It doesn't have anything to do with um, <laughs> the the background, but sorry, I just need to use them because they they are still in here, and I want to add them to my journal somewhere. So well, I'm quickly done if I do this. Oh, shall I use one? I think that's better. So here they are building the company, and here you see the building on its own. But the picture is really bad. It's an old picture. So I think I took a picture from a picture or something. So, But I think I can use it. And then maybe add this one to that. And then maybe a quote over here. I was thinking something completely different. I was looking for a tag or something, but... So, you see, don't throw anything away, and even small projects like a card or whatever, you can use it again. Yeah, it says uh, 1954. No, 45. No, 54. Sorry. <laughs> I sometimes mix those years up, the numbers. I do like this one, and I think I need a stamp or so to prove. I have been looking in these more often, but no, I think I'm going to use this one too. Stories and memories. Okay, let me see. And for those of you who want to know, this stamp set is CS313. So we don't have names for the stamp sets. CS313, if you want to look for it. There are some names sometimes, but a number is just as easy. Okay, stamping block again. Okay, no, that's the wrong one for the record. It's in the wrong place. Oi. <laughs> I need this one. So this one can go back. Now, well, shall I stamp it on? Just some leftover piece of cardstock. This is big enough. I am. I lost my mat again. <laughs> I think I will go for the stamping platform again. 
because it's quite a solid stamp and you never know if it stamps correctly by stamping only one time. Okay, I'm going to cut it out later, so here we go again. Oh, it's not bad. Only one little ink in the corner. Perfect. Is it perfect? Yes. Okay, here we go. I will put that one aside and <coughs> get them organized later. So this one, now I do need to cut this. I can also make some kind of banner on the top of the page. Let me try and do that. See what it looks like. If it doesn't look nice, I can always make it a little bit smaller. And cut it out, cut out the complete stamp. And then maybe something like this. I know it's too wide, but and then this one down there. No, I think it's too much white, so I can make it make it a little bit thinner. Just a small white border, maybe that that looks nicer. No idea, just trying. It does look better already. And then cutting up something from the sides. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And if you want, you can also color these letters, these letters inside. So I do think this looks nice. Um. Yeah, the only thing I'm going to do, let me think, let me think, I'm going to take my stapler and use some staples, make sure it's in the middle of your page. One there and one on the other side. Then it's easy to cut off the extras on the side. And then I think it's a little bit boring. <laughs> so I'm taking a pen and I'm going to add a little dashed line all the way around the stamp. And that's just for fun. And it m makes it a little bit less uh, plain. You can also do this, but then you are a little bit in trouble with um, uh, the staple over there. But just pretend it's not there. Okay, now this card, and I would like to add this. And there is some text on the background, which I wrote there, because I want to remember to uh, why or what's on the picture. So the best thing is not to... Um, Glue it down because then I can't read anymore what's on the back. Oh, this comes off. I now notice. Might be handy if I want to add something like this. Oh, this one needs some ink, definitely. Hmm. Let me see, let me see. I, I don't like gluing it down just like that, you know. But on the other hand, why not? I mean, it's just my half hour of playtime <laughs> and making something fun in my sidekick. But I do have the feeling there's something missing. So let me think what else can I do. Maybe... I would say it needs a little back black background, so there's more contrast. But there is no matching dye for this, so I have to cut it by hand. So. No, I can't, because then I should glue them together. Hmm. Okay, let me think, let me think. I'm going to get some twine to add these two together. And in the meantime, oh, now I... Bummer, bummer. You see, I've got more of those. Oh, they were stored somewhere else. 
shoot. I need to keep them together. You see, there's a whole series. I knew I made them, but to be honest, I thought I sent them to else, but she probably sent them back to me. And here you see the building. Oh, I have to show it to you. And you see here, my last name is on there. Glass, it says. G-L-A-S. Not sure if you can see it, <laughs> but that was the name of the company. They were selling furniture. Um, <clears throat> okay, there's a whole series, but I can't use them on only this page, so but maybe I should do the family. My ancestors, ancestors, I don't know. I do like the building, or I think I'll go for this one. It has the name glass on there. Yes, uh, but I was looking for some twine, my black twine. Where is it? Yes, I do have it. Just a little piece. And try if I can get it under there. Uh, I need my tweezers now. See if there's a little bit of room left under. Yes, that should work. Okay. And then this one can go there. And make a little knot to attach them together. Oh, so happy I found those cards. I didn't think of them before. Hmm. Okay. This looks nice. But still, there's something missing. I think. Not sure what. Maybe more color, maybe a little bit red. Uh, let me think, let me think. 1960. Oh, I do have some leftover numbers here, but I don't think I've got 1960. 6, 9, 9, 6. No, I don't have it complete. I'm not going to use them. Um, I'm looking to my left <laughs> and see, uh, look through my boxes and see if there's anything which I can use. N yes, I know. I do have those little um, spool labels. You might have seen them before. These are from my Etsy shop. Maybe it's fun now. It, I need some more color. Maybe something with red. Only just a little bit more color in there. Not sure where and when. No, it's too much circles. It's too much circles. Not going to use them. A darker one, maybe? Not sure. I'm looking for something, but I don't know what yet. Okay, not these. Let me see. What else have I got? Camera labels. Now you can't see them. I can't change the camera view, so... Give me a few seconds, labels, maybe a black label, black label, black label, red, paper clips, label, blue, where are my black labels? Red, blue, no. There are too many of those pizza boxes, guys, sorry. <laughs> no pieces, don't need those for today. No, I don't see my black labels. Oh, yes, here they are. And I do have a lot of them. <laughs> I've been cutting them from everything, <laughs> every book. Maybe something like that. Sometimes it's also hard to see because you are with your nose on top of the things you are working on. And sometimes you don't see it clearly anymore. What you also can do, uh, I can't do it now. Oh, yes, I can. I can show it to you. But I do quite a lot if I'm working on something. Take a picture. And then take a look on your screen and see if you like what you see. And I must say, <laughs> I do like it now better than when I'm looking at this way. So I hope it does make sense to you. And... Really, to be honest, I think I'm going to leave it this way. It's not bad at all. The only thing is, I don't want to clue down this one completely, because there's some information on the back of the picture, just in case. Um, 
in about 100 years somebody wonders what the building is, it has something to say on the back. Okay, now this one needs to be somewhere around here. And then this one goes here. Now you can punch a hole. I can do that. Staple it. Or just use a little piece of adhesive. And then don't glue it all the way down. Because you know it's in your inner pocket. Oh, it this one doesn't have info on the back. I need to do some journaling. Oh, that's a waste. The, the back is beautiful too. I'm going to use just a little bit of tape. It was the other one with the information in the back. I changed them. Okay, but I do like this one better. Uh, I can maybe move it down a little bit. No, it goes up. It goes somewhere here. Um, I can maybe write something down here later on. But for now, this one is going to be my prompt for this week. <coughs> Memories, memory. And I'm again using uh, one of the pocket pages. And you see how lovely it looks uh, when it's in one of those pockets. I'm going to add it to my journal. And this was the one from last time, the first one. So this is prompt number two. Got them nicely together in my sidekick. So, um, well, that was it for today. I hope to see you again in two weeks. I'm going to keep it a little bit closer to the camera. And I hope I've been giving you some ideas uh, on the prompt for these weeks uh, to work on. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, and again, I hope to see you uh, in two weeks. Bye bye.